Well, today I've got this Nightlight Bluetooth speaker here for an unboxing and review. It's got touch control, alarm clock, diverse colors, hands-free calling, and it's rechargeable. Well, here's a look at it. This is everything that came in the box. Looks like the speaker's right up here. All the controls are on the front. I removed the plastic film that was on the front there. So there's the USB goes in. You can put a micro SD card in there as well. And then there's those five volt, two amp connection. Now let's go ahead and turn this on. And our LEDs reading out there. Looks like we have a full battery. Now if we want to use uh, Bluetooth mode or SD mode, just give this second button there a short press. It says BT slash SD on there. Bluetooth mode. There we go. Now I'm going to go ahead and pair this up with my phone, play some music. Okay, this will show up on your phone, Bluetooth is HM103F. And it just gave me a notification that Bluetooth was connected. Okay, for volume up on this, this is just the plus sign there, volume down, it's just that negative sign. For the buttons, you know, that's the, the volume up, volume down, but it's also to skip to the last song and then skip forward to the next song. This one here, this is a short press to enter sleep mode and a long press to enter the uh, on off or power saving mode. And then here, the phone icon there, phone button, it's a short press to answer the calls and then double press it to redial the last call and press for five seconds to disconnect or cancel the Bluetooth pairing. Okay, if you're using a flash disc or SD card to play music, the song formats that can be read are the MP3, WAV, WMA, and FLAC. Now we're gonna go ahead and set the alarm clock and the time on this. Okay, this is nice. Actually, on the bottom of this, there's the uh, clock button. And this is, this is the time setting button, and this is the alarm button. So it's just below the readout there, the LED screen. And we'll go ahead and long press this. Now we can just set our hours just by pressing the up or down button. I'm going to press it again to switch to the minutes. And you can adjust your minutes there. And then we'll press it again to store it. There we go. Now it's stored. Now for the alarm. There's our alarm set for 7.30. Okay, we just push the alarm button. Okay, now we can adjust our alarm after a little bit of a brief hold there. Okay, and now we'll just press it again to store it, or if we wanna mess with our minutes here, we can do that. Now if we wanna store that, just press that alarm button again go now we're set see our alarms on there too our alarm icon okay I turned the light off there so I could capture the uh, different colors now if you want to change the colors on this just a short tap on the top there okay here's how the color changes and the last color mode it'll dance with the rhythm of the music I'll show you that see it has seven different color modes red blue, green, purple, yellow. You can cycle the color and the music light as well. So this is the cycle color mode. So right after that is the music light. So it'll cycle through all the colors here slowly. So it's real nice. And then the next mode will be the mode that the light will change uh, with the music. Should be our music mode here. Let's see. That's what you have here. Yep. Okay, now if you want to enter sleep mode, just give that, that one a short press right there. And what happens there is the nightlight will automatically turn off after 15, 30, or 60 minutes. The long press of this one uh, will turn on the power saving mode. Um, you, 
can see there, it'll display, display that icon on the screen. See that one down there? See that says 30 minutes, so it changes. Now you're in 60 minutes. There we go, so you got 15 minutes there, 30 there, and 60 there. Now as far as the color changing modes again, uh, for the warm light mode, it's just a short touch to the top of the to the top of this. For RGB mode, it's a it's a long touch, so it's a long touch to switch from the soft light mode to the RGB mode. So long touch there switches it to the RGB mode.